Hi, welcome back to the PaleoCast Gaming Network. I'm Caitlin, and today we're going to be taking a look at Dinosaurs Prehistoric Survivors, which is now being fully released instead of just being in early access. I was initially excited when I first heard about this game because it's just another dinosaur game and it's a dinosaur simulator, but then I started playing it and I have some reservations, but you'll see what those are. So let's just select a new game. Now there's a couple of modes, survivor mode, arcade mode and free roam. And again, I thought this was going to be a bit like Saurian and just like Saurian, a simulation, dinosaur simulation game. But here there's some pretty strange scenarios. I mean, I don't totally hate it, but it's just a weird mechanic. So like in this one, we are, it, we, it looks like a, a Therizinosaur of some description. It could be Therizinosaurus. Or it could be Nothrorhynchus if, because the other dinosaurs that I've looked at in the game are all North American late Cretaceous dinosaurs, except for one. Oh, I'm already starving and dehydrated. Okay, so this you just have to run through a lava field and find the end boss and attack them for some reason. Um... And I don't know what those are supposed to mean. We're going to see if I can quickly have a drink of water. Oh my god. I shouldn't have come this way. Okay, I'm going to run away. Oh, ow, that hurt. Okay, do I have to fight this guy? Can I just eat some food? I'd rather just eat some food. Can I just eat? Can I just eat? Oh, nope, run. I'm going to run this way. And try to find our way to wherever the end of this level is. So that looked like another Therizinosaur as well. So Therizinosaurs are really cool because when when I was growing up, I remember there were only fossils known of their arms. You can see these arms, these huge, huge claws on them. From Mongolia, the only thing that was known of this animal was its arms. It was just this huge pair of theropod arms and people were postulating, you know, is this some gigantic meat-eating dinosaur that these arms belong to, what on earth did it belong to? And as it turns out, when more fossils were found, not only in Mongolia, but also in other parts of the world, these are theropods from that same group of dinosaurs that includes Tyrannosaurus, but this was most likely a herbivore. Those claws were for digging up food, maybe for self-defense. I can see the feet here are not quite right. There should be four toes and a fifth sort of hidden, like a um, vestigial digit almost. Instead, you can see three digits and the fourth, or the first, actually the thumbs up there. And because the other thing about Therizinosaurs is that they're the only theropod dinosaur that has four toes instead of just three toes that it walked on four toes. Oh, what are these? Little protoceratops? Why? I've got to turn my volume down. These guys are really loud. Why are you attacking me? Are we all just... It's just survival of the fittest in the sense that you just murder everybody you come across. It's so strange. All right, now I'm back to starving. Okay. Is this our final boss? The Guardian's Lair. Avoid its attacks and wait for it to get tired before attacking. When you leave this region, the Guardian's are... Why am I... What are you guarding? Alright, so this is Therizinosaurus C. So, oh, Genus Therizinosaurus. Not specifically a any particular species. What? What is this music? Okay, I guess I'll just slash at it and run away. Also got R. What does R do? Oh, I don't know if that did anything. Oh no, I've been slaughtered. <laughs> well, anyway, that's that's that level. Um, so very strange. Then there's arcade mode, where you live the life of a dinosaur, and then free roam, 
Now, arcade mode only has Triceratops or Tyrannosaurus as an option. You get a little bit of information about each dinosaur. It's a herbivore, um, has three long horns and a frill protecting its neck. Debatable if you've watched some of our other videos, maybe they've put display between species or within species, not actually for protection. Um, juveniles are weak, yes, that's fair enough. Needs to eat a lot, has a robust digestive system. Okay, so let's take a look at what being a triceratops in this world is like. Let's have a look at the environment we're in. Yeah, those footstep sound effects really throwing me off. I don't know if this is supposed to be clumps of grass. And whether they should or shouldn't be grass for where Triceratops lived and the time they lived in is interesting because I had always been taught from the various dinosaur books that I read and that sort of thing that there was no grass during the time of dinosaurs and if you ever saw grass in paleo art reconstructions or video games or anything like that, documentaries, then you knew that that was wrong and they hadn't done their research. But there have been fossils of grasses found that are from the Cretaceous, but they tend to be found in what's nowadays South America, like Gondwana at the time, essentially. So South America, um, there haven't been any found in Australia, I don't think, for the Cretaceous period. Um, they've been found in India, China, um, Africa, etc. So it, it appears more like the grasses evolved in Gondwana and then moved across to Laurasia as the continents got closer together and shifted around. And then you get your grasslands evolving um, after the time of dinosaurs and you get your plains um, ecosystems in North America and then uh, across European steppes and that sort of thing. Now, what is it? A toxic tuck carcass. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, like, I mean, if it's been dead for a while, it's a bit different than other games. Um, normally you can just scavenge a carcass, although... As a Triceratops, it's not like I necessarily would want to. Okay. Interesting. So there are herbivores that will eat meat when they need to. If they need to get the extra nutrition. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm also noticing a lot of bird song. Oh, here's an Ankylosaurus. I think. Looks like an Ankylosaurus. Will it tell me what it is? Nope. If I'm a juvenile Triceratops, then yeah, that's that seems about right to be an Ankylosaurus. Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of bird song going on, and I don't think late Crit the late Cretaceous would have sounded like this because songbirds didn't evolve until again after the dinosaurs died out. So. Birds are dinosaurs, but the evolution of the way that they sing, the, the way that they do that is with a syrinx, where we have a larynx, birds have a syrinx, and that's what allows them to make all of those beautiful tweets and trills and songs. And there has been a fossilized syrinx found in Antarctica. Um, Vagavis, I think is the name of the bird that was found, Vagavis. It had a syrinx and it was from the Cretaceous. But if I recall, the paper at the time said it would have sounded more like a duck than a beautiful tweeting songbird. So it would have been maybe squawking and honking and that sort of thing rather than tweeting. So this, this soundtrack is not at all what you would have heard if you time traveled back to the late Cretaceous or any part of the Mesozoic. Oi, no, 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 no. Already tussled with you, Triceratops. Uh, no! <laughs> is that a dead Tyrannosaurus over there? Is it snoozing? I want to keep running! <laughs> I keep running out of stamina. Can I use a rock to hide behind and or just sort of run around? 
and confuse you. If I stay really close to it, maybe I can get my stamina back. Oh, no, it's figured it out. <laughs> the AI knows whether I'm too close one way or the other. get back up. No. No. <laughs> okay, what if I run into the Ankylosaurus? Will you fight it? Will it fight you? Can I be protected? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry Ankylosaurus. <laughs> the speed at which it's moving is unreal. Oh no! <laughs> Killed it! Oh no! And who was lying down over here? You asleep? Are you dead? Ooh. Well, whatever it is, the other Tyrannosaurus is stuck on that carcass slash sleeping body, so I'm safe. So, free roam, I had a quick look at before because I was really interested to see what other dinosaurs are included in this game. And here we've got a list of Small ornithopods. I think Parkosaurus. When I first saw this, I thought, Park Parkosaurus is in the game? It's supposed to be Parksosaurus. And yes, it was a little, oh, that's as close as I can get. It was a little um, ornithopod. Very closely related to Thescolosaurus. Which is handy because I've used the exact same model and just given it different colour. But to be fair, Parksosaurus is what's thought to be Thescolosaurus. So, hey, their models can look super similar. Stegosaurus, which is a type of Pachycephalosaur. So they're dinosaurs with a helmet head. Dracorex. That's a little bit sad that Dracorex hogwartsii, named after, obviously, Draco and Hogwarts, is no longer a valid genus and species. It's actually a juvenile or a young Pachycephalosaurus. So when they're younger, their heads are flatter. They've got these, um, the big um, skull spikes and things. Very technical language, I know. <laughs> and as they got older, the dome got more round and larger and they resembled something more like a Pachycephalosaurus because they are actually Pachycephalosaurus. So that name actually no longer exists. And we have Utoraptor. It's got very <laughs> creepy bird eyes. Dromaeosaurus and Dakotoraptor. At least they're feathered. At least their hands are pronated. That's good. Um, Utoraptor should be way bigger than Dakotoraptor, though. Hmm. Okay, and hadrosaurs, what do we have? Parasaurolophus, oh, I used to love these hadrosaurs when I was younger. Carithosaurus, nothing wrong with them now, just <laughs> was more fascinated with them as a kid. I don't know, their toe should maybe be a little bit rounder and fatter. And Edmontosaurus, okay. They've got very pointy little faces, especially this Edmontosaurus, its skulls almost coming to like a beak shape, which is a bit weird. Should be. More rounded than that. Um, who else we got? Oh, a lot of Ceratopsians. Avoceratops, Kelosaurus. Cool. Ojoceratops, Nosuceratops, Triceratops, of course. Chasmosaurus. That's, that's an awesome looking model. And Eo Triceratops. Okay. And Ankylosaurus, okay, so we did see an Ankylosaurus before, and a Kynocephalus, which is a type of Ankylosaurus. So they've just used the exact same model, made it slightly <laughs> a bit smaller. Different colours. Alright, Tyrannosaurus. Nanotyrannus. Again, this is the case of a juvenile or a young animal being described as its own species and genus when actually it is a young Tyrannosaurus. Not just a nano Tyrannosaurus, but just a, a baby. Dryptosaurus. Ooh, nice colours. Okay. 
This Pletosaurus. Not the best models, but... Oh, this has got some Podotheca happening on the feet. Some really thick scales. Which is good, Gorgosaurus. Oh, they've got a little bit of a different eye thing. Tyrannosaurus. Alama Tyrannus. Alamo Tyrannus? Never heard of it. And it's just a Tyrannosaurus with different colours. All right. And Carnosaur. Acrocanthosaurus. And this one I wanted to talk about a little bit before because I haven't actually come across Acrocanthosaurus in a video game before. Although I think it is actually in Jurassic World Evolution. Um, but that's not surprising because Jurassic World Evolution is fairly comprehensive with its dinosaur lists. Interesting. Very pointy snout again. Acrocanthosaurus is actually quite an interesting animal because you can see they've they've modelled it here. It's got a high spine. It's not as high or frilled as a Spinosaurus's spine um, or Baryonyx, those type of Spinosaurids, but it did have these extensions off the top of its vertebrae and part of its name comes from this being high spined dinosaur. But this is much too pointy a snout. It should be flatter. Not a lot flatter, but it should be flatter. It looks like they've tried to do this um, extension of bone off the edge of the... Uh, is that off the orbital? Mm, I don't know. And then this little crest above here. So let's play as Acrocanthosaurus. Oh, and I noticed that list of dinosaurs before. They're all roughly late Cretaceous, except for Acrocanthosaurus, which is an early Cretaceous dinosaur. So um, the rest of them are late Cretaceous. They're all found in North America-ish. So I don't know whether the person who made the game specifically chose these dinosaurs because they were roughly all from the same time period. When I say roughly, the late Cretaceous spans quite a few tens of millions of years and most of the dinosaurs in the list were around between 66 to 75 million years ago was when they occurred. So there's a 10 million year gap between some of those dinosaurs. So not the closest temporally, but not awful, except again for Acrocanthosaurus, it's early Cretaceous or early to late. That The middle part is the Aptian and the Albion. And it's one of the other reasons why I wanted to play as Acrocanthosaurus is just, it's interesting trying to imagine a world during the early to late Cretaceous during the Aptian and Albion on the other side of the world to where I am because I studied crocodiles and am still studying some dinosaurs and fish and other things from a rock unit that's the same age but in Australia so it's fun roaming about in another part of the world as a completely different type of animal but at the exact same time as my Australian fossils were roaming about. Obviously there weren't fossils roaming about. Well, that was Dinosaurs Prehistoric Survivors. So I feel like this game has potential, but this is its full release now, so it's no longer being developed. So this is the final version of the game, and this is sort of what I would expect to see more in a game that was still in development. So, um... Yeah, not the worst game in the world. There's definitely better games. There's way more accurate dinosaur simulation games. And there's some more fun dinosaur arcade games, if I'm honest. Some of the models were okay. And there was some attention to detail. Like with Acrocanthosaurus, they actually, A, bothered to have different dinosaurs in there, like Acrocanthosaurus. And B, gave it a higher spine like it would have had in real life and tried to model some of the features of its skull like the little bony extensions above the orbits um, but wasn't the best model in the world it's like they got halfway there and then it was close enough and some of those models were just 
repeats of one another with different skins and some of the dinosaurs aren't valid taxa anymore so I'd have to mark it down on accuracy points for that but I hope you enjoyed watching me play this game and try to get through the different areas I, I couldn't really be bothered doing that arcade bat boss battle bit anymore it just wasn't really doing it for me but if you'd like to see more games maybe not like this or like this and see paleontologists react to ancient life in video games then please do check out more videos on the paleocast gaming network and subscribe if you'd like to and we'll hope to see you in the next one bye